Let's take a quick look at how to scan a receipt with the Verify app. First, tap the camera icon at the bottom of the screen. Tap the three dot icon in the top right corner, then choose Settings to customize your camera experience. The first option lets you choose whether you'd like all your scans to be saved for extra backup in your phone's photo gallery. Auto Doc Detect and Crop will automatically find your document in your camera view and crop out all the background noise. Auto Blur Detection will warn you when an image you took is blurry and allow you to retake the photo. Auto Torch will use your phone's flashlight to light up your receipt when the ambient lighting is poor. Hands-free document capture will snap a photo of your receipt for you automatically when the receipt has been detected. And Tilt Advisor will help you to take a level photo to help prevent perspective distortion. The black and white filter is a preference that results in your receipts being scanned with high contrast and without color for maximum readability. In the configuration section, you have the option to either close the camera and go straight to your documents list after every scan, or alternatively, you will stay on the camera until you manually close it, so you can scan lots of receipts in batches. The final four options allow you to manually pre-select some fields before taking a photo of your receipt. Once you've finished setting up your camera experience, tap the back button at the top and point the camera at a receipt. Because I have the auto document detect and crop setting enabled, I can see a green highlight following my receipt as I move the camera. This is the preview of how the document will be cropped once I take a photo with the big blue button at the bottom. I'll take this photo at an odd angle just to demonstrate how the app automatically corrects the perspective and cleans the image up. If I wanted to crop the image further, I could tap the crop icon on the right, then draw a border with my finger where I want to crop. Since I'm happy with the original result, I'll cancel this additional crop. If my receipt spanned multiple pages, I could tap the Stitch More button in the bottom left corner, take another photo, and repeat the process for more pages if needed. In this case, I don't need a second page, so I'll use the trash can icon on the right to remove the second page. The bottom icon on the right allows me to rotate the image clockwise if required. I'm happy with the result I have here, so I'll just tap Submit in the bottom right corner to process the document. Now, depending on your internet connection speed, the image should upload and be processed in a matter of seconds. Let's take a quick look at the results. We've got the vendor name and logo, the date of the transaction and type of document we're working with, then the totals, tax and currency, and even the card that was used to pay for the transaction. If we tap on the category field at the top here, we can see the line items that were read from the receipt along with the category and total amount. By default, this line item extraction is turned off, but you can turn it on in your profile settings when you go to your account at hub.verify.com. There are a few more fields at the bottom that can be adjusted as required, then the text that was read from the receipt, and finally the actual image that was scanned in. That's it for now. For any comments, feedback, or questions, email us at support at verify.com.